Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today I will be doing an over-review of all my Padme Amidala figures. Um, I do not have all of them loose. I recently began opening all my figures, so I don't have them all loose, nor do I have them all carded. But, in case you haven't noticed, Padme is my favorite Star Wars character. Um, and I did this, I'm doing this video because I... A, I want to, and B, my friend Elijah Woods, he is also a big Padme fan, he did a request I asked him to do of all his Padme figures, and so I told him I'd do mine, I just had to wait for one other Padme figure I recently ordered to come in the mail, and she did come in the mail today, so I will be showing her, and we are going to, of course, start with the episode one figures, and that's the first figure we got was the episode one Padme and Barry figure. Um, I'm not going to spend too much time on these figures because I've, I'm going to be doing reviews on them. But this Padme was the first one we got. Uh, the I'm, I love this figure. It's probably one of my favorites. The face sculpt I think looks like Natalie Portman a little bit. But the coloring on the shirt and the hair could have been better. But besides that, it was a really good figure. I mean... That's the only mess ups there. Next we have the first Queen Amidala figure. And that came out dirt with the episode one line as well. Um, this is based off of her corsant Senate gown when she's in the Senate. And I've noticed this because I recently rewatched the movie. But she is missing her coat that goes on top of this. Which is like a black one kind of. And it made her shoulders look kind of pointed. Kind of like Cruella de Vil shoulders, which is really weird. But yeah, she, she doesn't have that on. And this figure has lots of layers. Um, you know, the layering in the coat. And then her dress, which is really nice. The detail is very nice. And, you know, it, the face sculpt does resemble Natalie Portman. So this is our first Queen Amidala figure. And I was kind of surprised they went with this outfit. And not her Theed Invasion outfit. But yeah, that is her. And she's kind of hard to stand. Like, she does come with her ComTech chip, which you can stand her on, but mine never does stand because I can't get her foot in the peg, so I just kind of have to balance her. And next in the episode one line, we do have the, the battle dress, Queen Amidala figure. Um, this came out, you know, around the time when Padme and Queen Amidala were supposedly two different characters. But this is Padme. Padme is Queen Amidala, of course. This is the first release of the battle dress because they also released uh, another version of this battle dress in the episode one line. And she had a soft goods cape. And she also had her extension gun. Yeah, so she had that and the cape. She's kind of pricey online and I don't have her, the other one. I do have this one, and I do like, apparently this one's face is a lot better. Um, I do like the paint apps on this one, but I kind of wish they gave her soft goods. Detail in the wrinkling is very nice. Not a bad Padme, but she's not my favorite. Um, then in the Power of the Jedi line, we got, yes, I know this isn't Padme, this is Sabe, but I do count it as Padme because I like having her decoys with her and her handmaidens. But she is disguised as Queen Amidala. So it is kind of technically a little bit Padme, but not really Padme. Um, I'm glad we got a Sabe figure. Um, let me take her kind of out. Um, the face sculpt actually does look like more, more like Karen Knightley than it does Natalie Portman, which is a good thing because... The two different characters. And this is her battle dress for Naboo. That's Padme's battle dress. That's the handmade battle dress. This is the Queen's battle dress. But this is the decoy. Um, this figure doesn't really have a lot of articulation. I mean, I think she can move her legs a little. Her arms do move, but you kind of have to keep them in this position. Because she can't really do anything else. So, let me put the gun back in her hand. So, 
so there she is and she does stand up pretty well um, I don't have a problem with standing her up in the episode 2 line we got this arena escape Padme um to be honest I think this is an ugly Padme her face her face sculpt is pretty nice. I'm not going to lie. The face sculpt is really nice. But the, um, I don't like how big this arm is. And she looks kind of masculine. Like, um, like the first Power of the Force figures. Where they all looked beefed up. And the gun is way too big. But she does have this gimmick where you kind of pull her and she does that. She does have a real chain. Which is cool. And she came with a pillar, but... The pillar's only about this big, when it should have been taller than her, but I'm not really complaining about the pillar. It's more of the figure. She, in mine, for some reason, and I know Elijah pointed this out, his gun does not stay in her hand, and mine does not either. And mine does not stand well at all, so I have to use one of the episode one Comtech chip stands to keep her up. When I don't have her, you know, because when I have her in my display case, I have her propped up, um against the pillar. So that is that Padme. And also the articul the articulation since you know she is in that position she really can't move at all so. Also in the episode 2 line we have the Coruscant pilot Padme which we see here at in the beginning of episode 2. Um, I bought this on Amazon and it was apparently complete but she had the wrong gun. And the pillar, I mean not the pillar, the little satellite thing she came with was broken. So I had to fix that. It was missing a piece. Um, this, I like this pad bang. I like the face sculpt. I think it does look like Natalie Portman. But the hair is all wrong. And she really only has articulation in her knees. And she does have this gimmick. Because most of the figures from the episode 2 or the, the blue saga card had this stupid gimmick. Had these stupid gimmicks. So. She kind of did that. Whoops, I dropped her. She does not stand well. Well, I mean, she does stand well, but you have to play with her to get her to stand. See? She's not too bad at getting to stand. Not like that, Padme. The arena escape. And I'm going to show this one off. Because this is my only... One that I don't have loose because she is kind of expensive online. And it is the Star Wars OTC Queen Amidala Celebration Ceremony figure. Um, I want her loose, but I want her carded as well. And this card is very nice. It's not damaged or anything. But the ones that I see on eBay are usually going for a high price and the card is damaged. And I don't want to spend like $30 on a figure to keep loose because that's ridiculous to me. So, she is going to sit in the back there. Up next, we have the re the only Padme figure from the Revenge of the Sith line. We do have another Padme from the, re the movie Revenge of the Sith, but this is the only one that came out in the line of Revenge of the Sith. Is the Mustafar Padme. Um, I really do like this outfit. This is probably one of my favorite Padme outfits. And when I was a little kid, I went... We went to go see Revenge of the Sith. That was like probably the first Star Wars movie I ever saw all the way through. I mean, I saw episode one, but I only remember bits and pieces. That's probably the first one I saw. But anyway, after we went to go see episode three, my dad, you know, we were all big Star Wars fans. And it was just me, my brothers, and I have a little sister. She didn't care for Star Wars. But we went to um, Walmart, and he said we could pick out a few figures and two each or three each because I got cheap ones my brother got a lot um I picked out this Padme this isn't the same Padme mine's gone this Padme Alea Sakura and Mama Mon Mothma yeah I just picked out those three because they were women and I thought Alea was cool and of course I loved Padme so there's that Padme Next, we have the 30th Anniversary Fireside Gown Padme. Um, this one I absolutely adore. 
I love the detail on her dress, how it has like the mermaid tail and the dragging effect. And she did come with her little, I don't know what you want to call it. I guess maybe like a, no that's her scarf. Like a coat kind of, the thing that went around her shoulders. Anyway, I don't display her with that because she only wore that for like a second in the movie. Um, she is a very beautiful figure. Um, I wish the face looked. The face sculpt does not look great at all. I mean, I, the sculpt looks good. I can see Natalie Portman, but it's just the paint apps. And the hair is very nicely detailed. I do love that. And I, I just love the way, you know, how they have, like, the silver on the dress. So I really do like this figure. Um, In the Clone Wars line, we actually got a Clone Wars Padme. We got two of them. From the TV show. And I know we, we have like maybe. Hmm. I think there's two other ones. But I don't have any of those. But anyway. We have this one. It is based off of her look in the Clone Wars. I think this was based off of her look in the movie. Yeah. The other one's based off of her in the TV show. I got this from my dear friend Alexis. She kindly gave this to me. I call her Noodle Padme. Because. I actually finally got her to stand by herself, but she's so tiny, which, I mean, you know, she's supposed to be, but she's really kind of funny, so I call her Noodle Padme, and she, she didn't have a gun, so I just took this from my episode 3 Padme, because Padme didn't have a gun in episode 3, so I just gave it to her. In the Legacy Collection, ooh, almost dropped one of my other Padmes, we got... The Return to Naboo Padme. Or Queen Amidala. Um, I really do like this figure. The detail on her is very nice. The wrinkles in the clothing. Just the sculpt. But the face is missing the white face paint. Yet again. Because they also did it with that figure. So they're, they're just not giving her her white face paint. Which is weird. But the face sculpt does kind of look like Natalie Portman. I can see it. I mean, it's not the best, but yet again, these are three-inch figures, and I don't expect Hasbro to get everything perfectly right. But there's that Padme, or Queen Amidala. She kind of, like, when you sit her, she kind of leans to the side, so I might have to get, like, some poster tack and just, you know, fix her, because she looks awkward. And in 2010... In the Movie Heroes line, we got another Battle Dress Padme. This one I do like a lot better than the first Battle Dress Padme. Not for the face sculpt, because I don't like the face sculpt at all. But the detail on the outfit is a thousand times better. But of course, you know, this came out in 1999. So, I mean, I can't really say anything. But this one I do like a lot better. She's really nicely done. Um, this one was also repacked in the Episode 1 Blu-ray digital release set, so. But she doesn't come with a stand, so. Next up, we have my newest edition in the Padme figures, and probably one of my favorites. It is the Vintage Collection Attack of the Clones Peasant Disguise Padme. Um, now, ooh. That was awkward. She just decided she was going to lean. Okay. This Padme, I don't think her face sculpt looks like Natalie Portman, really. But, you know, the detail on the dress is amazing. The Vintage Collection usually did a very good job with detail. And I do like that they, paid, you know, did so much attention to detail. Um, I, I'm on, trying to win this bit on eBay. And it comes with some Vintage Collection figures loose. And there's two of these. I might get another one to keep for myself. Because she does have this headdress you can change out. So so she can look like that. But I don't keep her with this one on. Because she only wore that for like a second. So there's two of those included in the bid. But I might just... I, my friend has already claimed one. So... I might just give the other one to Elijah if you don't have her because, I mean, why would I need another one to display it just with this? 
but I'm not sure what I want to do. But she probably will just go to you, Elijah. And finally, we have the Black Series Padme. This one I do love. She's probably my favorite. The closest face sculpt we have to Natalie Portman, I believe. Because, I mean, you know, without her moles, they didn't put her moles on. But besides that, she is perfect. Um, the hair is really, really nicely done. I, they've never had a problem with getting her hair. And then, you know, she has the scratches and blood from the neck zoo. So now we're just going to take a look at them all. Well, that is all my Padmes. Thank you for watching and goodbye.